Now, now that we're done with the question topic and all that and different kinds of tests, the question is, how many parts does an essay have? Now I'm moving on to my essay. But when I want to write an essay, what would I do? Remember? Do I start writing an essay? No. I write the question very well. There's a process. What do I do? What should I do? Go ahead. Louder, please. I don't understand. So I read the question topic very well. Next. Brainstorm. Brainstorm. Thank you. Brainstorm. There's an end. There was a storm and the end is gone. Next, I have brainstorm. After brainstorming? Uh, read out outline. What? So outline. Outline. Thank you. Outline. After the outline? Uh, write a draft. I? Draft. 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 draft my essay. After drafting? Edit. I edit it. it. After editing? Write the essay. I proofread it. After proofreading, they kick me out. <laughs> yes? Only two, uh, two I only minutes. have a few minutes for all of them. Oh, you're expert. <laughs> Everybody, you have only 60 minutes for the test? You have only 40 minutes for task two? You have to do all of them. I told you, they gave me a question. It was some prefer to go co to college, others, universities. State your own opinion, so on and so forth. Now, we will talk more about different kinds of essays. Right now, I'm going to give you the general body of an essay. So, remember, we have talked about it, you all know. An essay, well, has a topic, of course. The topic is already given to you in IELTS. Then you start with introduction. Then you have the body. And you end with conclusion. Conclusion, of course. Do you remember the shape? Yeah. Of course you do. This is our intro. This is our body and this is our conclusion. How do we start any intro? College, universities prefer which one? We start from general to specific, right? General. General. Two specific. What does that mean? We start with general information. Yeah. Then we move to specific. For generally, well, give me a general statement about colleges and universities. Every year, millions and millions of students graduate from high school and choose to continue their education. A very general statement. They have two major choices, college or university. Now, some of the students choose to go to college, others prefer to go to university. Their criteria ranges from here to here, then I can talk about why. I need to discuss both views, right? Yeah. I can discuss it very shortly, very shortly in my intro, and also should I talk about my opinion or not? Yes, I should talk about my opinion. All of this in my intro. Mm -hmm. So basically, I start with a general statement. Mm -hmm. So a general statement. Mm -hmm. If this is the, the whole thing. Then I move to... Then the topic. Mm -hmm. Paraphrase the topic. So we had paraphrase, three words, right? Paraphrase, rephrase, or reword. So if you say paraphrase, rephrase, or reword, what does that mean? You change the words. In IELTS, paraphrasing is key. It's very important. You should not copy, don't copy. One of the golden rules, do not copy the topic question. Some people do that. The first thing that the examiner does does not count it as words, your words, takes it off the word count. The second thing, it biases the examiner against you. It means that you cannot use your own words. 
So if the topic sentences, some people prefer to go to university, others prefer to, you don't use the word prefer. You should say it in a different way. You should change the structure of the sentence. Different words. Sometimes it's so hard to change a word. I will talk about paraphrasing more. It's a paraphrasing technique. Definitely. Right now I'm just giving you a broad overview of an essay. I will talk about paraphrasing techniques. How, how do you paraphrase something that's hard to paraphrase? How do you do it? We will talk about it. So far you need to know that you need to use a general statement. You start with a general statement on top. And then you go straight to the question that you had. Compare this and that. Some people prefer this, others prefer that. You say it in a different way. And after that, you have your own opinion. Yes? Your opinion. Which is, your opinion would be in the, in your thesis statement. Yes? Your thesis statement is the specific part. It's the very specific part. So I started my essay very generally. All over the world, millions of students graduate every year from high school. Most of whom tend to continue their education. Some, instead of saying choose or prefer, I would say opt for higher education, whereas others choose further education or studying in colleges. Because higher education university, further education college. Or I can say some of them pursue. I can use other words. Here, I need to play with words. Change the words. Now, I want to give my opinion. I will give you phrases. What phrases we use for our opinion. Now, I want to give my opinion. In my view, as far as I'm concerned, in my opinion, personally, personally, I prefer to go to university or college because Mm, mm, mm. Three reasons, for example. If I'm giving three reasons, how many paragraphs I'm going to have in the body? Three. Three paragraphs. Three reasons, three paragraphs. So, thesis statements. Personally, I, mm, I prefer to go to, or as far as I'm concerned, colleges are better. Because, a, B, and C. If I give three reasons, I need three paragraphs. If I give two reasons, I need two paragraphs here in the body. So if I give A, B, and C, three reasons, reason one, reason two, reason three, it basically means three paragraphs. And then there's a conclusion. And then there's a conclusion. In the conclusion, first what happens is, I'm saying exactly the same thing I said in the introduction, the opposite. That's why we have this shape. Because this is my introduction, this is my conclusion. I just invert, I invert my introduction and I change the words. And that's my conclusion. So I would start my conclusion with, in conclusion, or to sum up, here I started with a general statement, then went to thesis. My introduction, I started with my thesis. So. I start with my paraphrased, paraphrased, or rephrased thesis. Some people write, because of the, the above mentioned reasons, or reasons mentioned above. Thank you. Still recording? Good. Yeah. 
I'll let it go until it just warms up and dies. So I would say, in conclusion, I, I agree with those who pursue their uh, higher education in universities, because I believe universities are this and that and that and that. And finally, I can say a general thing about like now in IELTS, it's optional to start with a general statement, but you should have short introductions and short conclusions. 250 words, you don't have much time and space. Because you should have, you should leave a lot of time and space for your bodies, body paragraphs. Because in your body paragraphs, that's where you support your ideas. So in the introduction, general statement is optional. But paraphrasing the topic and your thesis statement are vital. They are essential. So the general statement is quite optional. In the conclusion, paraphrasing your thesis is essential. One final general statement is optional. A general statement at the end is usually about a hope. You give hope or you compare two things or you give, um, say something, people. Uh, you're talking about students prefer, I prefer blah blah, but uh, at the end you say, but I believe, for example, both uh, their different uh, tastes and different people are looking for different things. Both colleges and universities are uh, good for further and higher education, and people of all sorts and types uh, choose either based on their criteria, personal criteria. A general statement you end up with. Now, the body paragraphs. What's in there? That's the question. So, remember imagine now we have paragraph A. A, if I had reasons, it's the first reason. If I'm comparing two things, the first thing. Now, remember two things. I'm saying it very fast, but I hope you get it. When we compare two things in compare and contrast, we will talk about cause and effect separately and compare and contrast separately. This is our first general video. Imagine we're comparing Toronto and Tokyo. Now, there are two cities, but we are talking about three different factors in two cities. We're talking about the weather, food, and people. Three things. There are two ways of doing it. One is, I have two paragraphs in between. I would say A, Toronto, B, Tokyo. Yes? So paragraph A, Toronto, paragraph B, Tokyo. Now, in, in Tokyo, I will talk about all of them here. Weather, food, and people. Here too. So I would say, for example, in Toronto, the food is like this, the people are like that. And then I go on the other hand, in Tokyo, this is like this, that is like that. Or, I can say, weather, Toronto, Tokyo. Food, Toronto, Tokyo. People, Toronto, Tokyo. In that case, I'll have three paragraphs. In this case, I'll have two paragraphs in the body. In that case, my entire essay is four paragraphs, because conclusion and introduction. In this case, I'll have five paragraphs. We'll talk more about this in the future. Don't tell all oh, this is so confusing so fast. No. I'm just giving you the general outline right now. And then we will talk about the major types of essays that will appear. And we'll do sample essays. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, you have these components. You start with an introduction, you have an ending, which is your conclusion, and in the middle you have your paragraphs. Your paragraphs depend on your, in your thesis, if it's reasons, how many reasons? If it's qualities, how many qualities? If it's characteristics, how many characteristics? If it's opinions, how many opinions? 
Every paragraph has one main idea. Yes? So. Now remember, my paragraph A, whatever that paragraph, starts with a main idea. Main idea. And I told you once that every paragraph is actually a mini essay. Why? Every paragraph is a mini essay because it has an intro, body, and a conclusion. Every paragraph. How do we know that one paragraph is over and we move on to the next paragraph? How do we do that? When we know that one main idea is over, we want to move to the next main idea. We don't look at a paragraph and say, okay, we have, I have 15 lines here, that's enough for a paragraph. You can't do that. That's why some paragraphs are shorter, some paragraphs are much longer. Mm -hmm. Of course, in your essay, it's good to have some balance, right? Not three paragraphs, it's three lines for one paragraph, ten lines for one paragraph. It's good to have some sort of a balance. And it's important, if you have three reasons, in IELTS they say it's good to have your most important reason first. A, B, and C in IELTS. But in writing, generally speaking, it's different. Some people start with their second most important reason because they want, and then the least important, and then the most important at the end. Why? Because they want you to read and read and read. They, won't, they don't want to give you the most important first. It differs, but in IELTS, they generally tell you that it's good to have your most important reason first. Okay? So, I said, I prefer to go to college, for example, because college is cheaper, faster, and more practical. Cheaper, faster, more practical. So I would first start with cheaper. So paragraph A, college is cheaper. Is it still recording? Still recording, good boy. So, college is cheaper. I start with a sentence, with a, my topic sentence. Remember topic sentence? Main idea is set in a topic sentence. Topic sentence. Remember topic sentence? My topic sentence has the main idea of the paragraph. So I start. And when I start, first, second, and finally. Firstly, secondly, finally. So first, or my first reason for going to for, for preferring to go to college is that colleges are much cheaper than universities. What should I do next? This is my main idea and my topic sentence. I should do what next? I should support. Yes, I should support. How do I support in this case? How many supports do I need? Support one. Support two at least. Support 3 is optional. The supports are like my body paragraphs. The supports are the body of my paragraph, like the essay. And conclusion is optional. I don't necessarily need to conclude every paragraph. That's optional. But I need supports. So in every paragraph, I definitely need one topic sentence, which has the main idea of that paragraph. And I need supports. I need to support my idea. Now, my supports depend on my essay. Because the essay already told me that you should use personal examples. Or you should use examples and information from your personal knowledge. So one support should be an example. One support should be information from my personal knowledge. I can't say anything else. If the essay told me this, I should say this. So a pers things from my personal knowledge could be, oh, a relative of mine, a friend of mine, when I went to school in our town, I know somebody, my father knows someone. These are all the things that are related to me and my personal knowledge. I'll also give an example. A friend of mine named Kassidit tried college and university both, and he said the college was a lot cheaper. <laughs> or. When I wanted to go to college or university, I tried things online and I checked out the prices and I can also, if, if I know, I can give a price, an exact price. So. Is, 
Hmm? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm almost done. So, that's how I write a paragraph. And if I need three paragraphs, three paragraphs, and after that we have the conclusion. So this is basically the general idea of writing an essay. Uh, I would write an intro, the body, conclusion. Intro, general to specific. A general statement. Specific would be the thesis statement. But the thesis statement is after the topic sentence. I paraphrase it, then my opinion, my thesis. Then if I'm giving three reasons or three things, three paragraphs, two things, two paragraphs. Conclusion, same thing, inverted. Thank you, everybody's. <laughs> no, you deserve to be sleeping right now. You deserve a very good nap. Right now. So, justice and we're going home. I know you have to go. I have an hour lesson with Jackson. No. You have what? I have an hour lesson with Jackson. Listen, uh, Jackson class, music class. Okay, yeah, definitely. Okay. So, just one more thing going through this and we're done. Topic, of course, brainstorming. Yes. Thinking about what I'm going to write. Outline, draft, edit, and proofread. We will take a look at this next time, how we do this. Today we just talked about the general rules of writing one essay. Thank you.